Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Clutch Thunder. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a quest reward system. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, let me show you how it works first. Um, come over here. You got your little quest system. Uh, you got a little NPC named Hobo. Pretty cool. Alright, so it says, well, hello traveler. Can you help me out with something? I would love if you can find me a stick. I really want to make an iron sword. All right, and over to the right, you see the quest to uh, retrieve a stick for Hobo, reward, legendary weapon. Uh, this is nothing special. It's just a little book and quill that you can just type in. But anyways, that's something that, a little cool effect. So let's go find him a stick. Um, conveniently enough, this tree has dropped a stick for us. So we take the stick, go back to Hobo. Boom, it'll take it out of our inventory. Let's complete, and it will spawn in a chest. Boom, quest, reward. Pretty cool. If we wait a second, it will despawn. Um, I think it's on a 30 second timer. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, so let's get into the showing you how this all works. All right, so it's, it's very simple. All right, um, so first things first, you got the chest, right? It's on a repeating block, always active. It's just a simple clone command. Uh, maybe in later on in this video, I will show you how all this works, simplified. So, uh, Stay tuned to that if you don't fully understand. So you got a clone block. It's obviously cloning one block and sending it to another place. Um, and this one is a clear inventory out of a player's inventory. Uh, or what is, did I just say inventory twice? All right, anyways. Clear a player's inventory of a certain item at a radius of five. So sticks is uh, for this instant. Uh, the 2000, zero, uh, 2048 um, is a of an issue that i ran into so if you're going to do these quest uh, items or these quest reward things uh you have to do it for one item so i did one stick for instance so the way that i did it is since it is a stick and then they're like two wood you have to uh, i will have to like do it to where it'll clear the entire inventory of sticks so if you brought an entire inventory of sticks it'll clear all of it so it's not spamming now I will show you one, another one later on in this video where it, you can do it and it will also go hand in hand with the school board objective, money sort of stuff. So that's pretty cool, stay tuned for that. But uh, basically that's how that works. This one is a uh, chain, always active and it's always connected to this one. Um, to a set block right here, it's something I always do for my uh, command block builds. Uh, this one will set black, uh, this block back to air. Now these. Uh, this is a title, which will say quest complete. Um, over here, this will summon in lightning at a certain cord, and these are all cloned blocks. So basically, it's cloning these in a certain uh, fashion and placing them up there. So pretty cool. Now, after all this is, it's a 30 second timer. Now, there's probably a simple way to do a 30 second timer, um, but I'm too lazy, so I don't want to watch a video over it. Um, but these are just setting uh, this will this one's setting uh, or summoning a lightning bolt back to that same cord uh, Just to give it a little special effect um, and these are setting all the blocks back into air Pretty simple pretty easy All right, all right, I'm gonna go cut the recording here, and I'm gonna go show you my other um, Build all right, I am here at my other little creation. So uh, let's just go ahead and go up to the mushroom. And of course you got a chest, same thing, same clone command. All right, so let's just grab these two. Quest one, bring the villager one full. Reward 32 stone. Earlier when I was testing, I had a villager instead of a mushroom, but you know, I got weird. Um, so let's go over here to this chest and grab one bowl. So if I walk up to it, it should give me 32 stone. Boom. 32 stone, and it gives me a little particle effect. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's uh, read quest 2. Bring the villager 1 glowstone dust. Reward $20. Now, this is the one that goes hand in hand with the, the school board ejectives. Now, if you don't know how to do school board ejectives, I will link my video on school board ejectives uh, in the description below. So, let's go into this chest, grab 1 glowstone dust. Now, I'm at 44, so if we walk up to it, we're at 64. Pretty cool particle effects. Now this this build is really simple, all right? This build is really really simple. Let me tell you, really simple. It's just just this, okay? So you got your clone block here, cloning the chest for the the quest items or the quest books, 
All right, so once you do this, all right, so this is a repeater block, same as the last one. It'll clear one em or item out of your inventory at a certain radius. Um, then it's connected to all these. It'll give that player at a certain radius six stone. Uh, and this one is a special one. All right, so particle, uh, Minecraft, the little two dots, uh, uh, totem, underscore uh, particle, and the three squiggly lines. So now there is multiple particle effects you can do. Uh, you just got it depends on what video you choose it from because there are experimental ones and ones that are actually in the game. I find the totem one that's the coolest, in my opinion. Um, there's some other ones that are pretty cool, but they're all in experimental. Now, the three squiggly lines is uh, how many blocks above uh, you want it. So, this block right here is underneath the chest. So, I want it four blocks on the Y axis. Pretty cool. Right. So this bottom one is the school board ejected one. So once you get close enough, it'll clear a glowstone out of a player's inventory at a radius six, one, one glowstone. Then it'll be connected to this one, which will say set score board add at player title. Now the title for me, that is my connector to all my other school board objectives. So basically what that means is um, it's like, it's the, like, it's the special word that will connect this command block to a network of command blocks that makes any sense but basically what it is is it's adding 20 points to my scoreboard pretty cool and this one is the same thing particle effect uh, with a little bit different of things negative two five two so basically it is five blocks above this one going over on the negative going over is negative so you can see 23 22 21 then up to And it will spawn up here, particle effect. Pretty cool, pretty simple. Um, now I kind of want to show you the simplified version of all these commands that I use, besides the scoreboard objective one, that's, that was its own little special thing. I did a video on that again. Uh, link down in the description if you want to check it out. Um, but if we just head over here, I have a little, some command blocks set up over here. Now I'm gonna try to teach you how to do these simple commands. Now, um, some of my past videos, Thomas asked, if you can teach me how to do this, do that, do that. So maybe in all these videos, I will do a basic command block tutorial at the end um, after I show you everything. So let's start off right here. This is a title at P, um, title at P, hi. So the first at P can be different. It could be at all, um, at random. It, can, it can't be at self or at E, right? So if I click this button, I will say clutch thunder at high. So how I got my name to pop up like that is after the first title you want to put at P. So whoever the player is that is click or nearest will say at P. Now that's how I got my uh, little uh, supply drop uh, thing to pop up with my name. Link in the description if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, so that's basically how that works. All right, so this one is a cl uh, clear command. So if I grab a stick, one stick, it will clear one stick out of my inventory at a radius of two. So if I'm all the way back here, it will not delete itself. So I have to get two blocks from this. So one, two, and then from right here. Oh wait, wait, wait. No. So this counts. The block counts as one and over one. So you gotta be right up on it. Yeah. Sorry about that. Forgot about that. Um, so that's a simple command. I use that a lot as well. This is the clone command. I use this one a lot as well. Uh, so basically you're cloning uh, the three squiggly blocks is like the same thing with the particle effects so I am going over negative one see that on my Z negative one so if I place the box here I would put negative or positive one instead of negative one on my Z right so basically how that works is you want to do that two times so negative one negative one and a certain certain chord that you want to place this block at. So if I click this button, it'll spawn right there. Pretty cool. Uh, let's break that. So this one is a set block command. Now it's a lot like the clone block. Um, the clone block is more useful with like chests and stuff, with the items and stuff. Um, but anyways, a set block is the, uh, just set block, a coordinate that you want the block to be set, and the block that you want to be placed. So for this instance, it should be a log, right? 
boom, log, right there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool as well. If I spawn that one in, it'll spawn it right behind it. All right, so this last one is summon lightning bolt. Now, you can use this for any mob, um, and I think like the the vindicator, the magic dudes, like the little what are they called? Like fangs? I know they're like they're like crocodile mouths coming out of the ground. You can do that this too. But for this one, I'm going to use lightning bolt. So yeah, pretty cool. But if I put this to repeat. Always. Yeah, let me turn that off. That's breaking my game. Oh no. No, no, no. Alright. Oh my goodness. Woo! I almost destroyed my PS4, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, anyways, that's all the basic commands uh, for all the, the quest reward system that I used. Now, you can feel free to change this up if you want. Um, this was just an idea like summoning in uh, lightning to spawn in a chest and stuff. That's something simple or you know just doing a scoreboard objective. Um, they're both pretty cool. Feel free to use them for your creations as well. Um, I won't mind. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Turn on bell notifications as well. And yeah. Take care. Peace out.